Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in game week 19 I got a really big green arrow. Or at least I would have if I'd left my team alone. <laughs> but I didn't. I meddled so I got a red. But I nearly got a big green. Does that count for anything? <laughs> Still, we're at the end of the year, end of 2023, maybe 2024. I'll do a little bit better. Let's see what happened in game week 19. Who did what? And then what my plans are for game week 20. So in the Midnight Mule Mini League... William O'Connell was the top scorer with his team, O Man O Man, with 69 points. And I didn't know where the name comes from, O Man O Man. It could be the country repeated, or there's a basketball player I believe called O Man O Man, or it could be an explanation of O oh, Man O oh, Man. But I'm not sure it's any of those, so I, I've no idea. But still, top score 69. Let's see how that was managed. That was Garnacho with 14 points, Captain Solanke 12. And then Ariola 10, Gusto 8, Darwin 8, Sun and Pedro Porro 5, and no points on the bench. So well done for that. Very good. Top of the league is still BV with Giga Chad FC. They're currently on 1,208. And they managed this with Sun got 10. And then Alexander Arnold got 8, Bowen 6, Solanke 6, Pedro Porro 5, and that's all. And then some points on the bench, 17 points on the bench. But a lot of people would have benched Ariola, who got 10 for more or less any other keeper. So that was kind of understandable. As for me, I'm down in 158th. I got 40 points. Mistakes were made. So the transfer I made, look at that. I got rid of Jao Pedro, who ended up getting 16 points and brought in Nkunku. I also got rid of White to finance that deal and brought in Senesi. You might think, oh, that's good. It's a plus five move that, but it's not because Senesi was on my bench. He was always going to be on my bench. And who was on my bench this week? I, I had He Chan. So had I done nothing, then He Chan would have played for me this week. And Palmer, who was in my team, would have gone on the bench. First of my bench was Pedro. So I would have. I might have even been the top scorer in the league this week. I don't know, but I, I would have done much better, but I didn't. So how did I manage such a uh, mediocre score or bad score even? Trent got me eight, Captain Salah six, Solanke six, Porro and Son five, and that's all. And then on my bench, I had 20 points. So, <laughs> so um my bench boost, I've already used my bench boost and uh, I bench boosted on a lot less than 20 points. So uh, not great. So 40 points is what I got. Game week rank, I was in the top 50% for the game week rank, I guess. So a little red arrow, but the general trend is okay. And if I can outscore top by 11 points a game week, I can still win the whole thing. So that's, that's all right, isn't it? 204 points behind top spot is where I'm at. 1,158 subscribers. Thank you very, very much to everyone who subscribes to this channel and watches these videos and likes and comments and everything else. Thank you. So FPL Game Week website, you can go on there and you can look at the Content Creators League and see where you would appear. Someone I like to watch is FPL Fran. There he is at 1,140. He's in third place, one place above FPL Nymphreer. You may be familiar with these two. I would be down in 50th place, which is nine points behind Ross, FPL Raptor. Some of you may know him. Hopefully by the end of the season, I'll be higher than 50th in this league. And maybe higher than Ross. I guess we'll have to see. So transfers. My transfer plans for game week 20 is almost certainly just do nothing. Uh, we've got Haaland coming back soonish. I'm probably going to have to take a hit in the next week or two to get Haaland back in and maybe get rid of Salah and or Sun. So if I can manage to do nothing this game week, then that will save me four points next week or the week after. So the way my team is shaping up is as follows. We have Salah as captain. He gets to wear the old mule hat. And then his mate Trent will be in defence. They're at home to Newcastle. Newcastle are currently leaking lots of goals. So there's a chance for points there. And I'm probably going to put my vice captaincy on Watkins at home to Burnley. And then I've got Sun and Porro. They're at home to Bournemouth. I've got Palmer and his mate and Kunku away to Luton. Luton are quite good at home. And Chelsea can be shocking anywhere, but they might get some points. It'd be interesting to see how those two link up and can they get six, seven goals between them. 
could happen. And then I've got Saka away to Fulham with his mate Saliba. And then up front, I've got Solanke away to Tottenham and Dubravka in goal against Liverpool, away to Liverpool. So my bench, which is quite strong, apart from the keeper who's not playing, I have He Chan at home to Everton, who I would like to play, but I don't know who I would not play in order to get him in. So that's why he's on the bench. Trippier away to Liverpool. A few weeks ago, I thought I would never bench Trippier because it doesn't matter where he plays, he can get points. And he absolutely can get points tomorrow. But because he's not done so well recently, and I quite like the other three defenders, I'm probably going to play the other three instead of him. And then Senesi last on the bench. But if any of those bench players come in, I'm all right with that. As for the background image, it's simply kittens and football. The end of the year, beginning of the new year. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping that in the second half of this season, I can make fewer mistakes. But we'll see. <laughs> Whether I go up or down, at least it's fun playing the game. And there we have it. The last Midnight Mule FPL video for 2023. <laughs> Let's hope uh, we all manage to get a bit of a break over the next couple of days. I know I certainly need a break. And we'll see what happens in the coming year. And let's hope we all get green arrows for the rest of the season. Thanks. Bye.